Okay, so I'm doing this recording because I know you have your oils and I want to make sure that you have everything that you need to start your oil journey. So I'm so excited to be doing this with you and uh, let's get started. Um, what I'm first going to do is share my screen with you so you can see um, a PowerPoint presentation that I put together for people that have just received their oils. So it will give you an overview of um, doTERRA, a little bit about their philosophy, oil safety, where oils come from, um, what they do, and, um, and then we'll go through the top 10 oils, which is what you ordered, and uh, some of their other products, how to use them, and we can go into making some rollers, and I'll show you what I have, and how to make blends, and uh, we'll go from there. So. Let me go ahead and start. Uh, I gotta share my screen, so I hope this works. Okay, so this is what, here we go. So um, basically, uh, I wanna welcome you to doTERRA. It's an amazing company and um, why I choose doTERRA and why I chose doTERRA for uh, you. Um, doTERRA has, um, they're a very philanthropic company and they are um, very safe as far as how they source their oils. They source their oils from all over the country and uh, I'm sorry, all over the world in over 40 different countries all over the world. And um, they wanna make sure that they're uh, sourced in the most ideal climate. So they will get them where they uh, are grown indigenously. Um, they also work with farmers and they have a, a giving back program to help build up impoverished uh, communities to like build schools, help them get fresh water, hospitals, um, housing. So um, that's one of the amazing giving back programs that they actually do. So they're not just using the land and the farmers, they're paying them fair wages and helping them um, build their communities. So um, that's also uh, important to me and why another reason why I love this company. Um, so they also make sure that their products are free of any kind of contaminants, um, free of pesticides or heavy metals that sometimes can be in the soil. Um, just a quick side note that uh, the essential oil industry is so saturated right now that only 7% of essential oil in the stores, even Whole Foods, if it says organic or pure, it only has to be 7% pure in order for it to be labeled pure or organic. So that's definitely something to watch out for. And you'll start to see the differences in oils if you um, have different ones or just compare them to doTERRA. You'll see that uh, this is 100% pure, potent, certified, therapeutic grade oils, and they, touch, they test every batch to make sure that it's free of impurities. Um, and a lot of the other companies will just do that 7%, and they'll add in like any kind of synthetics, uh, fragrances, carrier oils, um, or um, chemicals, basically, to you know fill the rest and, and save money. And then a lot of companies like Amazon, people that sell on Amazon, they are selling doTERRA as well and doing the same thing. They're, they tamper with the bottles. And this is total side note, but it's kind of a safety thing. So um, they reseal the bottles. So that's why it's always really best to go through your own account and buy from doTERRA because you make sure that it's, you know, you're putting this on your body. You want to make sure that it is safe and pure and potent. So they test every single batch to make sure it's a hundred percent pure. And they even say they have their own, um, uh, CPTG certified pure therapeutic grade on every single bottle. And they also have a source code. You probably can't see it on the bottom of each bottle, but you can look, um, under yours and then you can go to sourcetube.com to see where each batch was sourced. So they are a very transparent company and they want to make sure that people are comfortable and know that they have nothing to hide and there's nothing 
uh, other than the essential oil in their bottles. So enough about that. Um, okay, what is an essential oil? Uh, they are extracted from plants, flowers, trees, bark, roots, uh, stems. Uh, they can either be steam distilled or cold pressed. Most of the citrus plants are uh, steam distilled. And um, they're showing you an example of peppermint. One uh, drop of peppermint essential oil is equivalent to uh, 28 cups of peppermint tea. So a little goes a long way in this instance. You really don't need to use a lot, especially with peppermint. It's a very strong, um, it's a very strong oil. So um, that is one little tip for when using your oils. Uh, they're very concentrated and uh, you can actually replace them with your own herbs for cooking because they are 50 to 70 times more potent uh, than herbs. So that's actually a lot of what I like to do with my oils. Uh, how to use them. So aromatically is uh, one way you can use a diffuser, which I have right here. I don't know if you can see, but I'm diffusing balance and peppermint because um, I need kind of a soothing, uplifting blend that's going to help keep me calm and also help me breathe easy. Uh, so the, so when you use it aromatically, it uh, purifies the air, especially if you're using on guard or a citrus oil uh, that will kill airborne pathogens. So if somebody's sick, you want to be diffusing uh, any one of the citrus oils or on guard um, in the room or to, you know, it'll basically put a barrier around where you are and protecting you against the germs that are floating around in the house. Um, and then also, if your kids are sick or if you're sick, you can diffuse peppermint or breathe, like what I'm doing right now, I'm diffusing peppermint and it's opening up my airways and uh, actually helping me get more oxygen in and, and have, uh, open airways. So that's uh, very beneficial. Uh, topically, so um, if you are feeling very stressed or if you have a headache, you can make a roller uh like this one i made um for my kids because they have like cough and respiratory issues so you can make a roller you put the drops in here um you just uh flip off the top might as well do this right now to show you i use the black cap to take off the the, the top so you just kind of like a bottle opener so this is it. You uh, take your oil, unscrew it, drop the oils in, dot, dot, dot. I usually, there's a dilution chart for however old your children are and however old, you know, if, if, if more so on children and elderly people, you want to dilute that. So uh, for me, my uh, go-to is uh, my kids are uh, almost six and four. I use five drops of each. Um, so topically you'll roll this on and you know put it on your wrist but this one i do for like the chest and you just you know put it right there on your chest and rub it in and it's going to help stop cough uh release congestion and actually get in there and kill germs too um so topically is also really good or if you have a headache you can take frankincense and run it behind. You can use it neat and neat means without dilution. So you can take your frankincense or your peppermint and just put a few drops in your hand and just put it on the back of your neck. Sometimes people like to put it on their um, forehead or the temples. If you have peppermint though, be careful uh, because it can be a little bit irritating to the eyes. And to my next point, also if you ever accidentally get peppermint in your eyes, or any kind of oil that you're sensitive to, then you always remove oil with oil. So any oil, vegetable oil, coconut oil, um, and then that's gonna help take it out. You never wanna use water because that's just gonna drive it in even more. So, um, so, so that's a safety tip. Um, so always dilute, um, and when you're diluting with fractionated coconut oil to make your rollers, uh, it also helps you spread it on a wider, a bigger surface, so your chest, your back, and um, it actually helps push in the oils 
a little bit more so uh, they can go right through the dermis into the bloodstream and penetrate those um, cells. So if you are having any kind of like infection, the um, say you're putting on guard on, the on guard will actually go in and penetrate the cell wall and kill whatever virus or bacteria that's hiding in the cell. So they're very effective. They are actually therapeutic oils. So they are here to help us. Um, lastly, uh, which is something that I kind of dabble in and out of, but um, it's proven to be effective every single time, is internally. Now they say um, anyone over six can take these oils internally. Uh, I just started giving my kids, um, where is it? Oh, these beadlets, which I think that you have. So if you don't have them, they sell them. Uh, it's like, I think 12 bucks or $11, but one, one, it's like a quarter of a drop. So before they were saying that, I think that it was because you couldn't really dose down a drop. So then they came out with these, these are a quarter of a drop and uh, it really just helps my kids get an extra boost when they are feeling uh, bad or, or fighting something. Um, but for us, you know, we can take, um, we can use them in water, one drop of essential oil, like citrus oil, any citrus oil in a glass or stainless steel bottle. You never want to use plastic because the uh, petrochemicals in the plastic will leak out. So uh, use glass or stainless steel and you could do one drop. Uh, that's generally all you need. And, and then drink it all day long. The lemon's going to be cleansing, it's purifying, uh, it's uplifting, or you can make a peppermint tea or a ginger tea or whatever. Uh, you feel like, or sometimes what I do is I, um, this past week, I've been using these veggie caps. They sell them everywhere. Um, but I take, you know, one of these, they're very small like that. And you just open it up and then you'll take, um, you know, say I want to do on guard internally on guard is a hot oil. So generally you would want to take it in a veggie cap instead of like, um, drinking it or putting it in water. Actually, I gargle with this stuff. So I don't mind the burn, but you know, so this is easier. So you just take like this and put one drop in. I'm not going to do it because I just took mine, but um, I can always FaceTime you if you, if you want to really see how it is. But you just take a drop, boop, drop that in there. And then if you want to do a flu bomb, which I'll tell you all about, uh, well, I might as well tell you right now. Um, flu bomb is lemon, frankincense, uh, oregano, melaleuca, on guard, and um, what's the other one? Uh, I forgot. I've been doing this all week, but in, anyways, um, oh here, okay. So it's hold on, on guard. Frank, oregano, melaleuca, oregano, and lemon. So that's it. Yeah, the five. Sometimes I add pink pepper or Melissa. Melissa is like one of the strongest antiviral, antibacterial oils. So that's just a little kick. And then you take your fractionated coconut oil. Um, this is like a, a liquid coconut oil. They take it out. They take out the fat. That's why it's fractionated. And um, you can get these on Amazon, at Whole Foods. Um, if you buy those rollers, then they come with like a little um, a dropper. So you can either drop it in or I have another bottle that I got on Amazon. It's organic and it has like one of those shampoo bottle type um, tops and you just press on it and then it just drips out. So I just pour the rest in, fill it up with the coconut oil and then put the top back on just like this and whoop, there you go. Uh, you have to take them right away too because the oil will eventually disintegrate the, um, the veggie cap. So this, if you want to get better fast, this is something that I highly recommend. One drop of each uh, twice a day with food. And if you don't want to do that, then they also make this On Guard Soft Gel Plus. So this basically has um, all of the ingredients uh, that has on guard, wild orange, clove, black pepper, cinnamon leaf, cinnamon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, oregano, rosemary, 
and Melissa. So these are all like the, the powerful oils that are going to kick anything out of your system. And then if you also want, you could poke the, uh, one of these with a uh, toothpick. See, they just look like that. And then you can use them on your kid's feet uh, and rub them in and put socks on. And that actually is going to go in and all those oils are going to help uh, penetrating the skin and um, helping their immune system improve. So that's the three ways how to use uh, the oils. Now let's get straight into the actual oils. Oh, wait, here, safety tips. So I kind of touched base on this. Uh, keep oils out of the ears, nose, and other sensitive areas. Uh, if you're going to do like something for the ear, so your kids have an ear infection, uh, which I did make a, uh, this is my earache blend. It has uh, basil, melaleuca, and lavender. So if you have an earache, which I actually have been kind of getting some weird stuff lately. So I've been, you just go around the front and then around the, uh, base here where the um, bone is and then you just kind of rub it in and rub down the neck and then you do that every um, I don't know 20 minutes every hour just get both sides and the melaleuca is actually going to go in there and start killing all the bacteria the lavender is a pain reliever and the basil is also acts as a pain reliever uh, as well so the three of them together will help combat an ear infection so in the middle of the night when the ear infections seem to ha happen um, all the time, you grab that or you quickly make that and then it's good to go. That actually happened to me and it helped me get through the night um, and uh, it's you know helping my ears right now. So follow label directions on the bottle. Uh, not all bottles of oil you can take internally, so some of them will have actual supplement facts and directions. Take one drop with water or um, they will just have like the deep blue will just have um, the ingredients. So and it'll, it'll actually say not for internal use. And actually the deep blue, uh, which is the soothing blend, has a different cap on it because this is um, kind of a, a hot, hot oil, um, similar to Ben Gay. It's for, you know, muscle rub and stuff. So, um, Okay, so I went over that. So let's get into the oils now. Lemon oil is amazing for uh, taking internally because it cleanses out the liver. It's really good to just drink during the day. You just need one drop. If you refill your glass container, then it still kind of has that lemon essence in it. So you actually don't even need to keep putting another drop in. Uh, only if you want. I use lemon to clean all my veggies every single day. I Put a couple drops in my stainless steel bowl of water with my veggies and it's going to kill um, that bacteria that uh, comes from you know unwashed veggies e coli um, something that starts with an l i want to stick, listeria so it'll kill that um, and just mix it in with a little bit of apple, apple cider apple cider vinegar sorry um, and then you have really super clean veggies. Um, I also cook with it, so it makes a really good, um, uh, I put it in one of these spray bottles and I add my uh, herb oils to it, rosemary or thyme and lemon and with a little bit of olive oil and I'll spray my fish. So lemon has a lot of uses. You can, it sticks up, takes off the nasty sticky stuff like stickers that your kids put on the walls. Um, it's really good for cleaning. Uh, it can actually clean out your diffuser. So if you just diffuse lemon, that's gonna clean that out. You could just wipe it out. Uh, I add it to all my cleaners. I have a glass spray bottle here that I clean with. I add a uh, lemon and on guard and that's gonna help disinfect um, the surfaces, um, and with that I add uh, distilled white vinegar, a little bit of distilled water, um, and uh, a little bit of splash of their doTERRA's cleaner, so cleaner concentrate. But you could just use the oils and distilled water, and it works just as fine. So uh, furniture polish, uh, you can use lemon as well. So uh, let's see. Le uh, lemon's also a mood booster, and it's good for kidney detox, eczema, mucus, congestion. It's, it's an expectorant. If there's a runny nose, I think if you put it behind the ears like this, that it'll stop the runny nose. 
Uh, lemon's really good for allergies too. So um, let's move on. I'm going to send you a cheat sheet too of, of all this. So, uh, and I hope that you're taking notes as you're watching this because it also helps you kind of um, permanently learn, helps us all resonate within you. Uh, so I'll send you a, a blank sheet, which you should probably have right now. And uh, these ones with all my, my notes. So um, let's go to lavender. Lavender is uh, a calming oil. It's very good for sleep and relaxation and stress. Uh, it's also analgesic. It's a, it's a pain reliever. So if your kid has a fever and you make a uh, roller of, of la lavender, lemon, and peppermint, which is also an, an allergy roller, the lavender is going to help kind of soothe the body and relax it and, and take the pain away. It's also really good for burns, uh, sunburns and kitchen burns. I keep lavender in the kitchen, so I'm always burning myself when I cook, so I'm applying it all the time. It's amazing to diffuse before sleep. Um, add it with breathe or peppermint. Um, during the day, peppermint and breathe at night. Uh, peppermint actually acts as a stimulant, so you wanna be a little bit careful with that one at nighttime. So. Uh, lavender is also really good for the bath, um, added with Epsom salts. You always add the oils to the Epsom salts first, so it absorbs and then add it to the bath so it dissolves. Um, stress and anxiety is also good for teeth grinding. The allergy combo that I mentioned earlier, that's going to help with that. Um, what else? Colic and scars and bites, wounds, blisters. Um, you can inhale it, diffuse it. Uh, it's just, lavender is great. It's got a lot of different uses. Um, one quick way, if you really want to, here's my lavender. Um, you know, you can, this is one oil that you can apply neat without dilution. So I just flip it over, I put it on my wrist. You put it on your pulse points, behind your ears, behind your neck. Um, your spine, you apply these oils on your feet, your spine. For children, I would always say apply to the feet and then put socks on. Um, just helps them like not touch the oils and get them everywhere, especially if they're young kids. Um, and then you know, just rub their feet together and rub it in. But um, it's very soothing. So if you're feeling a little stressed, you put the lavender in your hands. Or even if, if, if it's peppermint or breathe, you put it in your hands. <sighs> and you just smell it like that and it's just gonna really stimulate that olfactory nerve which is right here in your nose and it's gonna tell your brain hey listen relax like you don't have to be so stressed and that actually happens within 20 seconds so it's a pretty amazing thing when breathing in these oils aromatically it's actually gonna change your state of mind so um if you're ever feeling depressed or nervous or stressed or whatever if you're sad, then you, you do a lemon or an uplifting blend, any citrus oil or elevation, and that's going to help make you feel better. I like to diffuse balance because that's a, a grounding blend, calming. So lavender does the same thing. So um, it's moving on. Peppermint. So as I said before, peppermint is a very stimulating oil. So in the morning, if you are waking up congested or you just need a little bit of help, you can put a drop of peppermint in your hand and rub them together. And it's going to open up your airways, allow you to get more oxygen in and give you a little bit of pep in your step in the morning, just kind of like get you going before that coffee. So peppermint's really good for um, also taking away fevers, taking that down, you know, the fever a few notches. Uh, just you can either get a, a washcloth with bowl, with cold water in a bowl and put the washcloth on their back if they're not too sensitive to the way peppermint feels. My son loves it. My daughter, not so much. So you can apply it to their feet um, or make that roller, the lemon lavender peppermint roller, and just apply it to their spine, to their feet. Um, it's really good for, for fevers or respiratory. Uh, you can put it on their backs or your back or just put it in your hands and have them smell it. Peppermint is also really good for um, any kind of GI support. Uh, if you're having a stomach ache, you can rub it topically on your stomach or you can just take a drop in peppermint tea and, um, <coughs> excuse me, I need to take a sip of my uh, ginger lemon tea here. Okay, moving on. Um, okay, 
So Melaleuca is a natural antiseptic. It's amazing. It's known as tea tree oil. Um, I put this in all my um, boo boo blends, so I, which I carry around with me all the time. Uh, Melaleuca, lavender, and frankincense are the three oils. So that is made for a diaper rash spray. I kind of made like a little generic um, label, but there's cuter labels. I just did that really fast. But every time I would change my son's diaper, I would spray this. So it cleanses, takes away the inflammation, and it's soothing and it's all natural. So just fill it with a little water and coconut oil and boom, all natural DIY spray. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still fighting a little bit of a cold, but I'm using my oil so it's keeping me strong. Um, so and then also, the, the, so that would work for the diaper rash spray. And I also made a roller, my Boo Boo Blend with the Melaleuca. So any cuts, bruises, or sprains, this acts as like a natural bactine. If you remember back in the day, it was something our moms would spray on us and it really stung and hurt. This doesn't hurt at all. It's actually really nice. So I have those all over my house and I carry them in my purse wherever I go because kids are always falling. Um, Melaleuca is antibacterial too, so it's one of the things that were in, was in my earache blend that's gonna kill germs, go right through and kill all the, the viruses and the bacteria that's in your uh, ear. Um, it's also uh, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antiparasitic, uh, it's a decongestant uh, and, and an, an expectorant and also boosts the immune system. So um, you can take this one internally. This one's part of the flu bomb blend. Okay, oregano is the strong, one of the strongest, like second front down from Melissa, I would say. But this is antiviral and antibacterial properties. So oregano is super duper strong. You only want to take it for like 10 days, 12 days in a row. Um, and then stop. You would treat this just, if you're taking it internally, you would treat it like a natural antibiotic. Uh, I mean, yeah, natural antibiotic, uh, cause it does kill viruses and bacteria. But if you take it long term, you don't want it to kill all of your good bacteria. So you want to Treat it as such, and you can do, you know, two weeks on, two weeks off, but at least you know that what you're taking isn't going to completely disrupt your entire system like uh, a, a regular antibiotic would. So oregano is very safe. These oils are very safe to take internally. Um, one thing I want to add is when your body takes these oils internally, your body knows exactly what to do with these oils. So um, for instance, like when you're eating an apple, your body breaks down the apple and it takes the different vitamins and the minerals to different parts of your body and then it gets rid of the waste. Well, when you take the oils internally or even topically or, or what, however you're, you're using them, the oils know where to go. So they're going to go right to the source of the body. They're going to go to the root cause and fix it. They're going to, they're going to, kill whatever bacteria or virus is lurking there and they're going to really help support your body heal itself and get better that way as opposed to masking the symptoms so um, i should have mentioned that earlier but that's one of the benefits of using um, doTERRA essential oils is because that they get to the root cause they're not just covering something up like when you take tylenol for a headache when you make a headache roller or use past tense, you would do frankincense, peppermint, and um, a lavender and rub it behind your head and the frankincense is gonna take the inflammation away. The peppermint's gonna help soothe and the lavender is gonna take the pain away. So they get to the root cause and they actually stop the problem. Um, okay, so frankincense is the king of oils. They, uh, this one is, one of the best oils there is when combined with other oils it actually makes it more powerful more potent so I put Frank in everything and they have a saying when in doubt Frank it out so you actually just you don't know put frankincense on it um, this has so many uses It's anti-cancer it actually goes down on a cellular level and repairs damaged cells uh, it's you know really amazing for back pain headaches sciatica 
Uh, it's anti-inflammatory. It's one of the most anti-inflammatory oils out there next to Cobaiba, uh, which is another oil that they just newly came out with uh, from, it's a, from a Brazilian plant, um, similar to CBD oil, but Cobaiba has like so many different um, uh, uses and, and benefits. But back to frankincense. Cancer, tumors, seizures, uh, Alzheimer's, dementia, any kind of depression. It's very good for depression. One drop under the tongue. And I've seen, you know, people tell, like, on all of our communities that have been doing this with depression. It really, really helps lift that. So you've got to be consistent. That's another thing with these oils. You have to be consistent. Consistency is key. Your body metabolizes these oils within 20 minutes. So they go in real fast and then they go out. So you want to be consistent so that your body is always having these oils protecting you, you know, around the clock, especially during this cold and flu season. Um, or if you're going to go into a kid's place or a park or movie theater, like I put that on guard on my bottoms of my feet. I put it on my spine, on my kid's feet and spine before school, after school, before bed, I have it running through the diffusers. I mean, I'm always having that stuff going through them. One of these oils, in one way or another, is always touching them. And they're empowered, too. They actually use it themselves. So um, it, frankincense is amazing. It's really helpful for so many uses, and I highly re recommend it. And that's why I had it. And they, they have it in the Family Essentials Kit and Home Essentials Kit because it actually retails for, I think, like $95. So... Um, that's an amazing oil to just have at your, you know, fingertips to use for, for anything. Um, okay. So it's also good for wrinkles and, and, and face, you know, blemishes and stuff like that. Frankincense is it's one of their, um, Immortel blends and that's for the face and I use it every day and I love it and it gets rid of my scars. So, uh, Digestin is the next one. Um, this thing is a miracle worker for all things like tummy issues, vomiting, upset stomach, diarrhea, reflux, bloating, um, cramping. You know, you could rub it on your tummy. You could uh, inhale it. Duh. You could take a drop under your tongue. Uh, this thing is going to stop all that stuff. So, if you're constipated, just rub some on your kid's feet or... Uh, put them on their tummy, and I promise you they'll poop in like 20 minutes. Uh, or like, if you're an adult, you know, you put it under your tongue, and it's just going to calm all that gas, that bloating, and the discomfort. And then this also actually doubles as a sinus relief. So if you just put a drop and put it down the bridge of your nose, uh, this is going to help clear your airways. So digestion is actually dual action. So that one's pretty cool, and I love it. It's great for kids. Um, okay. Breathe is, um, one I use around the clock in my house. Uh, like I said, peppermint is more of a stimulant. So this one we use at night and all of our diffusers, every room, uh, it really blends well with lavender or serenity or, you know, and it's, this is just an amazing oil. So it's going to help open up the airways. Even if you want to put a drop in your hand and rub it together and, smell you're going to clear your sinuses clear your airways it's great for before working out it's going to open up your chest and actually allow you to intake more oxygen so you'll have a better workout a better sleep your body's going to be calm so uh if you have asthma when my kids have like really bad coughing fits i would just have this bottle by my bed i would grab the bottle put a couple drops in my hand rub it together and then you can actually, um, my kids would be asleep. So I would just kind of like hold it in their face, like cup it around their face and that would help calm their, their asthmatic spasms. Or you can take your palm and then close it and then put it over your fist like that. And you make an actual homemade inhaler. So you put the drop in your hands, rub it together and then you inhale and that's going to go right in your lungs. You can have your kids do that or you can put it through your nose and have you breathe through the nose and it's going to clear everything. Peppermint does the same way. Breathe does the same way. So they both open up the airways and minimize asthma, seasonal threats. It's, it's amazing. So that one I use uh, quite a bit. Uh, Deep Blue is great. Okay, so a couple things with this. It's a hot oil. Um, it, feel, it feels like... Bengay. So it kind of has that icy hot feeling. It's got winter 
wintergreen, camphor. Um, if you're pregnant, you may want to not use camphor because uh, I think that's one of the oils that you're supposed to stay away from. And if you're breastfeeding, peppermint can also decrease uh, breast milk. So um, call me about that and we can go over that in more detail. But those are two things I just wanted to point out. Um, so this one I always dilute. Um, not for me. Be well, I did my first bottle, I went through super fast. So now I always make rollers of deep blue or I just buy the one that's pre-made, um, which I love all their pre-made rollers. They're amazing. Um, so you can use them. I made an actual leg cramp roller for my daughter with marjoram aroma touch, deep blue, um, lemongrass and, and Siberian fur. And that helped her soothe her leg cramps. So I didn't have to give her any kind of medicine. I just used that in a heating pad and that was amazing. Um, it's really good for sore muscles, neck tension, headaches. You can put a deep blue in your Epsom salts bath. Um, any kind of tension that you're having, deep blue is amazing. So that's my fave for like uh, working out and uh, being sore and stuff. So, okay, what's this one? Oh, On Guard. Okay, the protective blend. So this has um, all the, uh, this is their proprietary blend that's going to help boost immunity, protect you against seasonal threats. One thing about all these oils is, you know, they come from nature and nature has their own protective mechanisms. So to protect them from seasonal threats. So it works with us the same way. When we take these oils um, uh, any which way, we are going to be protected. So we're going to have like a shield around us supporting us and, and everyone gets sick too. So when we do get sick, this cuts our sick time in half and it helps like tremendously with just, you know, easing discomfort and just feeling better. And, and you know, it's working. You feel it's working. On Guard is amazing for canker sores, oral health. They have a whole On Guard line. So, you know, uh, cleaner concentrate and detergent and hand soap. I mean, we have it all, but I, toothpaste, which is my favorite, but I used to gargle with on guard and salt water. Uh, when I get sick, I actually do it daily. I use a Neil med and I gargle and then I do my Neil med and then I gargle with a drop of on guard and it kills all the germs in the throat. Cause this is where all it starts right here in the throat, any bacteria, any germs. So it's going to kill all that stuff kind of burns, but feels good because you know it's working. If you have a canker sore, um, that's going to get rid of it because it has clove in it and clove is amazing for oral health. So On Guard has so many great um, uses and then you can add it to your uh, cleaners. Um, what else can you do with it? It's okay. So it's the, for colds and flu. Oh, uh, diffusing it. It kills airborne pathogens. So it's going to kill any germs, especially like during this time or if someone's sick or has a stomach flu, it's going to kill those. Um, it's really good for staph and strep and cough, oral health, fungal parasite issues, um, autoimmune uh, issues, um, so again, this one, because it's a hotter oil, you want to, um, you'll want to dilute. So you can make a roller with it, uh, or just, if you're going to put a couple drops in your hand, just use some coconut oil and just test the spot. I would do the bottoms of the feet first, always, especially with children. Uh, and then you can work your way up to the spine and, you know, the back of the neck, uh, and so forth. So, um. This is a kit I think that you got. It's no longer called the Family Physicians Kit, so I have to change that. But the beadlets, the peppermint beadlets are amazing for working out, freshening breath, um, and uh, you have the five ML bottles. Uh, they also make a chewable, kids chewable, and I, IQ Omega. This is also amazing for kids maintaining their health. My kids are on them. They love the vitamins. They make you probiotic, which I don't think I have here. Oh, no, it's on the next slide. Um, so here are a couple um, ways to, you know, have healthy habits with children. Uh, they have a children's immunity boost blend, but actually they just came out with a whole kid's line. I don't know if you can see this. I'm missing the um, on guard version of the kids, but these are really cool because they have like calmer, brave, so they're already pre-diluted and ready to go. And they actually have little symbols on them so they can, oops, so the kids can actually find them better. But 
Uh, so that's the kids line. Um, and then they make the probiotic. This is like a pixie stick that the kids can just tear off and like pour it in their mouths. Tastes like watermelon and they love it. So that one's really good to keep the kids healthy, especially when they're taking, um, you know, any antibiotics if they have to, you know, I'm not about not going to the doctor and not taking antibiotics. You know, these oils are supposed to support our bodies no matter what. And doTERRA is about working with Western medicine. They are developing hospitals that they can help. They are already in some hospitals. So it's integrative medicine. It's just to, you know, help support and empower us and uh, help us feel like we have something that some kind of control over our health and wellness. So um, the probiotic has, is double encapsulated. They have an adult probiotic too. So I guess the white part um, is, gets dissolved in the stomach first, and then the green part stays, and then it goes into through the GI tract into the intestine, and that's where it dissolves, and that's where it's most effective. So that's their um, dual action probiotic, and it's also great for you know any kind of stomach upset and that fun stuff. Um, they have an on guard hand sanitizer, which smells really good. I actually um, use this one all the time. And it kills 99.9% .9 of germs, and it doesn't have those um, horrible immune, uh, um, not immune, um, what am I trying to say, uh, endocrine, endocrine disruptors or uh, hormone disruptors like Purell or any one of those other ones, you know, can have in them. So that's really good to use. I have them in every purse, every room. Um, my kids use them at, in their lunchbox, or I'll, I'll spray a cloth and have her wipe her hands because in kindergarten they don't really wash their hands that much. So my daughter uses that twice a day before a snack and when traveling. And all these uh, citrus oils are going to help uh, cleanse. They're very cleansing. They're very uplifting. So these are going to be really good oils to diffuse around the house uh, if somebody is sick. Uh, eucalyptus is on there also very good for cough. Um, they have an in tune blend that's very good for kids that need to, uh, you know, focus and help uh, just kind of like hone it in. Let, let's focus. Let's do our homework. Let's, you know, uh, it helps you concentrate. And I actually use this one for all of my Pilates stuff for when I'm studying and it, and it does help. So I like that one a lot. Peace is really good. Oh my God. It's amazing for tantrums. Like you put it on their spine and they're freaking out. Like I'll grab my daughter, pull up her shirt, roll it on her spine. And then she calms down in like seconds. I'm, just, I'm sorry. So peace is amazing. Um, so these, this is an owie spray. They also have correct X, which is like doTERRA's um, Neosporin. We have them all over our house. Uh, Cause the kids are always, so I carry that and the boo boo spray. So lavender, frankincense, melaleuca, and add fractionated coconut oil and apply it to the wound. So those two, and then they have a couple other blends here, aches away, lavender, copaiba, frankincense, helichrysum, uh, and fractionated coconut oil. Let me talk to you about uh, helichrysum. I know we just reviewed your oils, but helichrysum, uh, if you ever, you know, get oh, kids that fall or bruise their head or they get those huge eggshell bumps, this is going to take it away. I, I'll, I just grab it and put a couple drops on my hand and, and, you know, roll it on their bump and then the bump's gone the next day. It's amazing for um, healing any kind of wounds. They call it liquid stitches. So if you fall at the park, I carry a roller with me. And so if my kids split their knee open, I just roll it right on the, the cut and then it coagulates the blood and fuses the two sides together and boom, liquid stitches. So helichrysum is a really good one to have. Um, for little children. Um, let's see, they also have a, an emotional support um, oil, like um, emotional oil support. So feeling sad, anxious, stressed, hyper, um, anger. Um, I use balance a lot, not really for anger, but just to like keep it grounded. Also helps with like circulating your body. So you put on the bottom of your feet before you go to work or get up in the morning and you're already going to be balanced. You're going to be calm, grounded, comes from trees. So the roots help you feel grounded. Console, I use a lot, especially during, you know, Mother's Day when I'm grieving the loss of my mom, like that really, really helps. So I love 
the emotional blends. Um, <clears throat> they do make one for allergies. You can make your own oil blends for allergies, but if you ever wanted to take something like that's pre-made, they do make tries. And then this is their uh, On Guard line, the toothpaste, beadlets, uh, soft gels, cleaner concentrate, um, On Guard ruler, and then the On Guard oil, and they make throat, jar th throat lozenges. So the whole On Guard line is amazing. Like I highly recommend it. We use it in our entire house, but that's just something if you want to, you know, ease your way into. I just wanted to talk to you about it. These are some supplements that I currently take. Um, my whole family is on them. The Alpha CRS is the most important one, I think, because it supports on a cellular level. It actually repairs damaged cells. It gives you energy, um, gives you any kind of like mental clarity, gets rid of brain fog. Uh, it's, it, and they have all these uh, tummy tamer blends in them, so it's not going to upset your stomach when you take it. Um, but this supports healthy cell function and metabolism. So this one is key, you know, anti-cancer. Like we want to, we want to take this. The Microplex VNZ, that's to get your food nutrients in your body. Uh, we'd have to eat seven oranges to get like the effects of an actual orange these days because the soil contents are so depleted these days that, um, we just can't get our, our nutrients like we did 50 years ago. So it's important to take a food nutri nutrient and, um, and then they have the Omega, which is land and sea. They have a vegan version as well for all of these, but um, you know, it helps uh, brain support, uh, hair and nails, alertness. So these three together are like the powerhouse of creating uh, the building blocks for healthy, healthy living. I, I cannot take, I, I can never stop taking this. Um, I didn't start right away, but um, I have, you know, some other, autoimmune issues and these things are essential for me to take to make sure that I'm getting everything, all the nutrients I need to stay healthy. Um, so that's my presentation for the oils. Um, I just want to go over a couple more things. Um, as far as buying, there's a loyalty rewards program and that way when you sign up, you can quit at any time, you know, and just cash in your points. So the first time you sign up, you get 10% back in points. So whatever your total is in, you know, dollar amount, you're going to get 10% off back in points. So it's a giving back program. So say after a year, you have been doing the loyalty rewards, you're going to get up to 30% back in points. So that means that, you know, if you spend like a hundred dollars, or $150 or whatever, you get like $50 back. Um, so uh, I think I'm at the 30% mark now. So I, I, I get like, uh, I don't know, 20 to 30 points back every single order I do. So that's like a free bottle of oil. But I like to bank my points. So if after a couple months, I bank my points up and then I can get like a bottle of Melissa, which is $130, but it's for free. So uh, you also get your shipping back. Um, every single uh, time. So uh, you get your shipping back in points. And then you can also be a part of the oil in the month club. If you want to make a purchase of 125 PV, PV is a point value. Uh, each item has a, a point value system. And there's a tutorial I can send you for this as well. Um, but these are just some of the perks. You can get a free bottle of oil. I spent 200 PV this month, so I got a free bottle of frankincense, which is awesome because a bottle of frankincense, I think it's like 95 bucks. So that was worth it to me. Um, so this is a breakdown, one to three months, you get 10% back, four to six, you know, seven to nine, 20%, 10 to 12, 25%, 30%, 13 plus. So uh, you can cancel at any time. It's not like one of those things that you're stuck in it forever. It's just an opportunity. You can also do one-time purchase. That works as well. But um, there are incentives and they want to reward their customers for, you know, buying their products. Um, so uh, just want to say thank you for sitting on this um, lengthy call, but I wanted to get these off to you and so you kind of have an idea of, you know, how to use your oils, a little bit more about doTERRA. Um, I have these handy dandy boxes that like I find really helpful. 
I have one upstairs in my room. I have them downstairs. You want to keep your oils where you're going to use them the most. So your bathroom for face, by your bed for diffusing in your kid's room, in your kitchen for like putting the citrus oils in your water or cooking, you know, using with your herbs. Um, oh, also they have a breathe stick. So this is like the natural VIX. If you ever, you know, have kids, we use it all the time for chest congestion. Um, oh, and then they have a baby line. Last thing, if you're looking, this this bottle of oil, uh, lotion is so good for, sorry, um, <clears throat> kids' eczema. I use it on Harrison all the time and it gets rid of his eczema, so it's amazing. Love that. So I love that they're expanding their kids' line. You can buy it um, individually or um, as a set. So that concludes my presentation. So thank you very much. Um, let's see if I can figure out how, how, figure out how to do this now. I'm going to stop the video. Let's share.